And as Bruce Buffer was saying your name, you were saying to yourself, I'm the best. I'm the best. I am the best. <laughs> Rose uses affirmations. Affirmations are positive, repeated statements. When repeated for long enough, these statements seep into our subconscious mind and alter our behavior unconsciously. It's been found that up to 95% of our thoughts and behaviors are dictated from the subconscious mind. While our subconscious mind has many components, what we'll be focusing on is the self-image. The self-image is our true subconscious view of ourselves. Whether you are able to consciously define it or not, we all have a self-image and our subconscious fuels our thoughts and behaviors to be consistent with that self-image. There are two main ways to alter our self-image dramatically from the inside out. Visualization and affirmations. Connor used visualization. Of course I visualize the belt, man. That belt, that belt, that belt is on me up 24 seven. The, you're the featherweight champion yeah, yeah, already. Of course, I see myself from, as the champ from day one. Before I even started training, I always saw myself as the champ. That's now, how I see myself. I visualize myself already there. I visualize everything. I visualize this conversation. I visualize the walkout. I visualize everything going on. It's been proven that the brain cannot tell the difference between an actual event and the visualization of it. Conor McGregor constantly visualized being a champion until he tricked his subconscious self-image into actually believing it. With the self-image of being a champion, he was unconsciously driven with the behavior of a champion. He was unconsciously driven to train the hardest as a champion does. He was more unconsciously driven to stick to the diet as a champion does. And he was more likely to perform under the brightest of lights as a champion does. Affirmations are positive, repeated statements we tell ourselves in order to reprogram our self-image. After enough repetition, our subconscious believes our affirmation and we begin to unconsciously act in a way that supports that self-image. Rose uses affirmations. You look quite emotional right now. Oh, you, what, what's going through your mind? I'm the best in the world. And new undisputed UFC. I, I felt like I didn't even have a, any adrenaline. Like I felt really just... Like usually I have so much more, you know, nervous tension and um, I felt really calm in there for some reason. The subconscious dictates our feelings and thoughts. So it's possible to infer that Rose was so calm partially due to her self-image as the best in the world. This is because the best feel calm under pressure and perform under the brightest of lights. I know that I'm training as hard as I can um, and when I do my best, then I am the best. And that's just my belief. I'm the best now, so let's see. And still, when you lose that third round, what do you do to kind of, it seemed like maybe the momentum was shifting a little bit, then you got it back. What, what do you do there? I just kept saying I'm the best. <laughs> just kept saying that to myself, I'm the best. Before the fight against Andrade, Rose starts doubting herself and no longer talks about how she is the best. Coincidentally, she loses the fight. There's a lot of things that I do know, but there's definitely a lot of unknowns going into this one. Um, it's really all about proving to myself, you know, because I have doubts. I have, you know, I have questions for myself. That's why we get in there. Rose suffered a vicious slam knockout loss to Jessica Andrade, which many people called a fluke as Rose looked great prior to the slam. However, Rose tried unsuccessfully to defend the takedown with Akimura three separate times. It is possible to call this an error on Rose's behalf as the defense was unsuccessful every time with the last slam knocking her unconscious. While there are many factors that play into this, it can be postulated that her self-doubt led to not performing at her best, making this repeated mistake and being knocked unconscious for it. Now let's fast forward a few months later to her next interview and see how she refers to the champ. I always want to fight the best and clearly she is right now, so um, yeah, you should always have your eye on um, being the best so that's that's what I'm what I'm uh that's what I'm striving for and you know whatever step steps that I gotta take in order to get there you know that's what we'll do one step at a time I have um much more genuine confidence like real confidence based on my preparation not just based on what I did before Rose's self-image going into this fight was not the best but she still manages to edge out a close split decision victory after this win, however, Rose now believes she's the best in the world. Like I, I've been saying for a long time, I, I would love to, I would love to fight her. I mean, she's, she's awesome. You know, like she's, uh, she's really, really technical, really strong, just really overall like a master. So, yeah, that's that's something that interests me a lot. She's attested and and true champion and she's got a lot of skill sets and 
the experience to go with it. So, I mean, I am the, when I do my best, I am the best. Um, and that's all I have to focus on is just performing and, and being my best self. So it's important to note Whaley has two main dodges for kicks. For a head kick, she simply rocks her head back. For a low kick, she rocks her hips back. So Rose brings her leg up to feint a low kick, but it was actually disguising a half step in order to get in range for a high kick. Wei Li thinks she's out of range for the high kick, rocks her hips back, anticipating the low kick, and gets knocked unconscious. I'm not saying every time Rose believes she's the best, she's guaranteed to win her fight. I am saying, however, that with her belief and self-image as the best in the world, she's going to unconsciously prepare and perform at her best. In conclusion, we behave and think in congruence with our self-image. But it's possible to change that self-image through visualization, like Connor, affirmations, like Rose, or through the fake it until you make it method. When you consciously act in the way you would like to be for a long enough period of time, your subconscious eventually believes it and it becomes your self-image. Your beliefs become your self-image and you will unconsciously act in accordance to whoever you believe you are. So believe yourself to be someone great. What's everyone doing? Make sure you subscribe to JD Young's channel.